This book is called Aunt Osha. A really neat aspect of this one is that all these tiny little triangles are look like they're made up of newspaper clippings. And they're an ongoing theme throughout the whole book. So this is Aunt Osha. She's this little old lady who lives in a village and she doesn't really have much to do, so all she does is talk and gossip about everything and anything, just to kind of get, you know, it's her favorite thing to do, get through the day and talk about things. It drives the the townspeople crazy because she kind of just spews out all day long. Um, and you can see the triangles here. They're kind of like a personification of her words and her talking all the time. And you can tell these people are really not feeling it. This dude right here got some serious scowl going on. He's really not feeling on OSHA this morning, that's for sure. So that she kind of just, I think she overtakes like everything she does or anywhere she is and just talks. So most people really don't like her. They think she's really obnoxious and annoying and that she just talks too much. Except one day she ends up getting really ill and stops coming around um, and nobody sees her for a really long time and they start to get worried about her. And so the townspeople go looking for her and they discover that she's really ill. So they start to take care of her. They take turns until she's well enough. And they thought that she drove them insane with her talking, but they ended up, they realized that they, they missed her and that they missed her being around and talking and telling them what was going on and that she's a part of their community and that they need to care for her. So there's Aunt Osha in bed sick. And then here's the townspeople taking care of her and talking to her. So in the end, they're happy that Aunt Osha is back and they appreciate her for who she is, even though she talks a lot. And there she is with her pile of words and conversations and her little fox.